Hey Wildcat Nation, this is Coach Love here for you. Standing outside of Medill Wildcat Wrestling Complex. Standing here, it's hard to believe it's been uh, almost five years I've been here. And in that great time, we've uh, been able to upgrade our facilities thanks to a wonderful superintendent, Mr. Tuck, and athletic director, Bank Stafford, and the wonderful Board of Education. Uh, right up there, we've got a banner. State championship, our 92-93 team. 25 years it's been now, the silver anniversary, and we hope to have a big uh, uh, reunion on December 9th. We hope that all of them come back and join us. We want to take you into the facility today. For any of y'all that can't come by and watch us practice some by, you'll know where we work out. We hope you enjoy it. Side now, and uh, most of y'all know this was once an old skating ring, they tell me at one time, and then it was a shop class and all sorts of things. Anyway, this is where our seventh, eighth, and ninth graders locker. Uh, and uh, not only do they locker here, but it's also our weight room facility. So we work out uh, every morning in here. And then uh, here in just a little bit, the seventh graders come in, locker room in here, and the high school come over and they'll lift weights. It's a very busy place. We're very fortunate to have it. Uh, it's not real big, but it's perfect for a wrestling team. We can put 20, 25 guys in here working out, and it just does a great job. Here's some of our trophies over here we won over the years. Certainly not all of them. Our state championship trophies are up at the school, so everybody can see them. But we're real fortunate that we've had some good fortune over the last years. And, and we don't really have a trophy case, so we put them up here on display. Hopefully it motivates our kids while they're working out to want to get more. I'll show you a couple of our signs right here. One of our signs, it's not the will to win that matters. Everybody has that. But it's the will to prepare to win. Of course, the great Bear Bryant. Uh, isn't that the truth? We're trying to prepare to win. And uh, if you don't have that in you, you're, you're not going to win. So we try to motivate them that. Another great sign I love is life's battles don't always go the stronger or the faster man. Sooner or later, it's the man who thinks he can win. And we try to build that confidence in our young athletes that they can do it. They can win. And hopefully that happens and, and moves over to them in life so that they can uh succeed when, when life gives us challenges, okay? Okay, we're gonna leave the weight room now. We're gonna come down our hallway. We'll show you this. And in our hallway, uh, one of the things we've done to upgrade is we've got our wall of honor here. We've got our wall of honor, our, our state our qualifiers right here. We've tried to find, locate, list every one of them that we've had over the years. Here's our state championship teams, and our all-staters, and our state placers right here so uh, as you walk down the hallway we try to get inspired for practice we got what well, you got to walk by that wall and hopefully that touches you for your athletes as you walk into a room the first thing you're going to see i wanted to stand out to you is our state champions right there our state champions we've been fortunate we've got uh nine different ones and uh, uh We've had Steve Elkins, four-time state champion, Brent Berkey, three-time state champion. All those, what an honor it is to have those guys. Of course, we're trying to develop more of them on a daily basis. We hope to have some more soon for you, okay? As we look out over our road, you can see how fortunate we are to have such a great facility. I come in here every day inspired to, to coach, I don't know how a young man couldn't come into this room and he wouldn't want to want to wrestle and get better. You know, we've been real fortunate. The last few years we've been able to pad the walls, put the murals on it, recover our mats, and, and, and just have a great facility uh, to work out in. Right in here, we've got a, a facility where we keep a ton of equipment in. It's nice and handy. And it uh, may look like junk right there, but man, it's great to have a spot like that. And then we come over here, we've got our laundry room, our wash room. We wash clothes every day so that the kids uh, come in clean. We've got laundry going right now, it goes all day long. Over here is all our wrestling shoes. One of the things we have is a program where uh, if, you, if you graduate, you turn your shoes in. If you got extra shoes, you turn. So when a young man comes in here and wants to wrestle, they've got shoes to start with. We do that. 
We're gonna take you back here to where we shower and lock her. We've got one of the nicest showers in the state, we think. <laughs> I wish you had a shower this big and nice in my house. Uh, but we're fortunate to have great facilities again. And very important to, to shower very often when you're an athlete. We got great ones. We come back here, this is where the high school lockers. Uh, this is where uh, some freshmen and, and certainly 10th, 11th, and 12th graders locker uh, back in here. That keeps the 7th and 8th graders uh, separate from the high school, middle school separate from the high school. Works out great for us. Everybody's got their own space. I'll give a shout out to the Noble Schools. They helped us get these lock, uh, lockers. We didn't have lockers when I got here four years ago. Noble helped us. A great friend of mine up there, Frank Solomon, we appreciate you. And uh, they helped us get those. It really was a game changer for us. We're going to come into our, our, take you in through our office real quick where our, uh, the brains of it all happen. Once again, you see our great facility. Up here, we have uh, motivational signs, and then these are all our, our basic moves. So that when a young man comes in here and practice on his own, if he forgets a move, he can look up there and he can see what the basic moves he needs to know. We always say wrestling's a lot like owning a Harley Davidson, though, okay? You can have a single leg, but everybody's got a little different one. So you take those basic moves and you make it your own, okay? So that's just the core basic moves. We also have Little League come in here at night. Probably some 40 kids are now involved in our Little League program on Tuesdays and Thursday nights. If you have a young uh, man or daughter out there that wants to learn how to wrestle, bring her in here. They do a great job. Joe Ben Williams does that for us, and, and he does a, a just a, a tremendous job. And so this, this room's going all the time. I mean, here in about 10 minutes, people are going to start coming in, and it doesn't stop all day long. So very active. We're going to take you through the office real quick. We're just about done. Coach left. Coach was in here. I was this in the office is a perfect place because it slides right between the wrestling room and that. This is where all the brains land, you know. People like me and everything, we hang out here. We've got a computer right here that we can update on, uh, keep on flow wrestling, all that stuff. And, and it goes right through to the weight room. So you can keep an eye on both things. That's a computer, TV, we can watch film on and all, and that. Motivational signs here we go. So in the end, I hope you enjoyed the tour. I hope you come by and watch a practice. Come watch us wrestle this year. We're excited about the season. Our first activities this Saturday, November 12th. I believe it is, we'll start. And uh, I want to show you one thing on the way out as we're, as we're leaving. This is my most inspirational sign to me. And, and I, I try to believe it every day and read it before I leave right here. And it says, do you know what my favorite part of the game is? And that's the opportunity to play. The Mike, great Mike Singletary, of course, the original Baylor Bear, linebacker, tremendous athlete and all. And it kind of puts it in perspective because we push and push and push. We try to challenge. And, it, you know, sometimes we don't realize what we have till it's gone. I try to tell myself every day I have a great opportunity here to help young men uh, improve their lives like wrestling improved my lives. And, and I'm real fortunate to be here at Medill, Oklahoma. And uh, we want to thank all our alumni and everybody that supports us. And I hope you come out and see us this year.